All right, let's continue Wind Waker. I don't know how much is left of this, but I guess we can kind of go with the number of hearts I found. I am up to the next dungeon, so. Yeah, I mean, if I'm reading this correctly, There's eight hearts remaining. So it's either I, I have a bunch of heart pieces to find, or there's more dungeons. I don't know. I guess we'll, we'll find out. I guess seven, because this one's a dungeon here, so. Okay. Oh yeah, right. I know what I'm doing. I am sailing... Wait, wrong thing. I'm going to meet up with a Korok. Uh, which island is it? That one, most likely. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm fairly certain it's that. Oh, there's, I, I see music. coming <laughs> no there's no way that's coming from within the waterfall Still the matter of the ghost ship as well. Oh. I think I just realized how to do this. Wait, really? The iron boots don't work? I mean, let's just try and... What? Why is it being weird? It's not registering it. Like, I, I'm maybe this controller is not good. Hang on, but like, see that. But I wanted to register a neutral position. So it's either coming from inside or there's something here that I can't see. Hmm. 
Hmm. I thought for sure the boots would have done it. I'll, I'll go inside the tree and see what's up. Maybe this is just something that's being deceiving. Thank you so much for bringing Makar back to us. I'm Hollow. I make potions from the fruits of the forest. If you wish... Oh, I wish I could create a potion that would help you, swordsman. But the ones I have here only seem to work on my fellow Koroks. I know. If you can somehow gain magic power, swordsman, then surely you will need a potion that can replenish it. Then if I can get the right ingredients, I might be able to make a potion for you. I haven't seen the ingredients that help recover magic power here in the forest. If I had seeds from the flower monsters in the Forbidden Woods, maybe I could make a potion for you. Okay, well... It would be these. Let's see. Don't think I've ever played Wind Waker. Oh, this is my first time playing it too. I never had a GameCube or a Wii U until recently. Oh. I mean, I know he's here, it's just where. never played the OG Zelda games or Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess is a good one. The OG ones, uh, I mean, the first two, if you appreciate retro games, they're worth checking out, but otherwise, like, nah. And that's coming from someone that grew up with those games and owned them and played them to death. mechanic. Where's my leaf? Oh right, I was supposed to go sideways. I'm gonna play A Link to the Pass. A Link to the Pass is, yeah, one of the best ones. The Mask one. The Mask one was a bit divisive, but I think it's a good one. Because it plays a bit different to the other ones. Conceptually, um... But I did like that one. I just know, at the time, people were kind of split on it. From what I remember. I feel like games are becoming oversaturated like movies. To some degree. I mean, particularly AAA ones. I don't know about indie ones. 
It's not that new movies lack charm, it's... Quentin Tarantino said this is just... Movie studios just, just don't take risks anymore. It's kind of like people have forgotten the art of making a movie now. Because it's pretty much the same six movies being made every year. Like... They just don't take risks on... On new stuff, really, as much as they used to. Like most movies, you kind of know the plot of them, more or less, immediately. Wait, where does this want me to go? Oh, over there? <laughs> Tenth Pass in the Furious movie coming out, yeah. Which, you know, will more or less be uh, similar in structure or story. I mean, that that's all well and good, but what now? Oh, I let it drop too low. Unless this is grabbable. It's not. Shit. Okay, drop back to this one. I haven't seen any of the fast movies since probably the first one. Could just got this one. I guess because I'm not like a car person, <laughs> that's why. What's that over there? Have I been- uh, have I been over there? Yeah, I have. Okay, hang on, let me have a look around. That's the temple. What is this? Yep. Damn it. I appreciate the wind mechanic, but man, for free exploration, is it's gotten me a couple of times where I have to be like, oh yeah, right, change the wind direction. I keep forgetting. Uh, just invert it, right? Uh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Guess what I did was a. a Unnecessary. Did Miyamoto make Zelda and Mario? I mean, it was one of the first games the dude worked on, yeah. But it hasn't worked on all of them. And more of the modern ones kind of acts as a producer as opposed to someone directly making the stuff. I 
And then there are titles where he's just not not involved at all. What? It's coming from within the waterfall, but like I tried playing the music and it just didn't work. Zelda originated. Uh, I don't think Mario originated from him originally. There was an arcade game, and I don't... I can't remember if he was involved in it. But then, the first Super Mario Brothers game, that was, like, when it kind of became the global phenomenon. Um... I can't remember because it, it was originally Jumpman and Donkey Kong, so hang on. I don't know if it was, he was involved in that. Yeah, first appearance was in Donkey Kong. Oh yeah, no, he was involved in Donkey Kong. So I guess it did. This wasn't sure. I mean, I tried playing this, but it just... There's something here, but... I feel like the definition of insanity is like trying the same thing and expecting a different result. I'm still not used to Chris Pratt as Mario. I mean, I don't know who you would get. That's the thing. It's like, I think at the end of the day, it's always going to be a case of they're not Charles. The original voice actor would have been better. Yeah, but here's the thing, like, I don't know much about Charles, but I don't know if Charles would have been able to do a, a full movie, because it seems like, based on what I've seen of Mar his Mario voice, it seems to be something where it can just do, like, a set of phrases, but, like, expressing different emotions, I don't know if he'd be able to do it. Like, that's just coming from a nostalgia point of view. I don't think it's objectively, like, he could have done a better job. He's definitely not... I think it's just all that we're used to how Mario sounds, and it's just different. I'm just basing this off what I've seen him do. Like, he's the voice of Warrior, and what he did for Warrior Wear Gold and uh, Warrior World, but there was a lot of voice acting in it. Yeah. He, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm just not convinced he could have carried a movie like that. My opinion, but... That being said, there's, there's other people that probably could have been better. Oh, 
Have I played Far Cry 3? I have not played any of the Far Cry games. Okay, so it's not Command. I'm going to hate the answer to this, aren't I? It's going to be something simple that I've overlooked. I tried using boots to sink, or at least be able to walk here. Let me have a look around here. Maybe there's something here that I just haven't looked at. I said the main lied word for word. What did I say? Oh, the definition of insanity is trying the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Is that specific to Far Cry or is that, I feel, I don't know, I don't know where I heard that from, but like. I mean, just because it's in it doesn't mean it originates from there. It's, it's probably like, oh, this is driving me nuts. Okay, hang on. Let's think outside the box. Let's use the tools that we have at our disposal. What if I freeze the waterfall? Nope. It originates in the dictionary, made it popular. I feel like I've heard it elsewhere. There's someone here that is playing music and I need to talk to them, but... Typically the way you do it is you play the song back and then they react. So it's either I have to stand in the very specific spot to do it. Oh, this control is driving me insane. That's the thing, I'm not sure if they're behind, like, they might be behind the waterfall. But the problem is, you can't exactly sink down there. I mean, I, I thought for sure it would be this. You wear these boots and they weigh you down and then, but nope, it's not that. Oh, what? What did I just do? <laughs> okay. Okay, fine. Whatever. Accidentally solved. I, I mean, I, I tried that and it didn't work. Wait, it didn't work. Oh, Link, I haven't seen you in quite some time, have I? I'm surprised you were able to find me here. You're wondering why I'm all the way down here. I'm practicing a new song for next year's ceremony. I need privacy. It isn't fun if everyone knows in advance what song I'll play. What? You can hear my song outside. Uh, really? I thought the sound of the waterfall would drown it out. Perhaps I should play a little more softly when I practice from now on. Why, is that a conductor's baton? Link, are you a maestro? That's incredible. Are you going to conduct for me, Link? What kind of song is that? I can't wait to hear it. Please conduct. Okay. Ugh. I knew he was here, it's just I couldn't figure out how to get in there. And I think I, I must have just like hit a wall or something the first time I tried. Why does it feel like I already know this song?
That wasn't the song that I played, but sure. Wink. This sacred song that you've conducted has awakened me. I know myself now. I am the sage of the Wind Temple. It is my fate to return the power to repel evil to your Master Sword. And to ease the regrets of my ancestors. Oh, please. You must take me with you to the Wind Temple. If I didn't already try the Iron Boot thing, I would have been like, yeah, props, but... <laughs> I've had that happen a couple times in this game where, like, I did what was required of me for the actual solution, but then somehow I hit a wall. It's happened <laughs> more... It's happened more than once. Uh, this one. It was just jank. There, there's, there's a couple of things here that, yeah. I'm good at finding jank. made me redo it. It didn't make me do anything. <laughs> I was thinking out loud again. The sentence was, are they in the water or behind the fall? And I already knew that they were behind the waterfall. It wasn't... If you... The sentence you said was, are they in the water or behind the waterfall? If it would have been something, hey, go check the waterfall again. Do it. Do it. Do it. They're there. A hundred percent, they're there. Do it. You're being an idiot. Go do it. <laughs> do it. They're quite que clearly... Clearly... Can I imagine how, man, without the sail? I'm kind of glad I chose to play this over the GameCube version. I feel like question gave me an answer to a suggestion to retry it. If you watch me enough, my process is like. Try something, if it fails, try something else, if it fails, try something else. Then... I do go through everything I've done a second time. Link, as was the case with Medley, I have no doubt that Makar 2 has some special role to play in these events. Discovering that role is your duty. I am certain that by cooperating, the two of you can overcome the dangers and pitfalls of the sample. I do like this, um, this thing where you're teaming up with the sage, that's cool. The, the original one, you didn't have the fast sail, so you had to change the wind direction constantly. And it didn't sail as quick. This one adds the convenience where... Once you get the sail, it, you don't have to change wind direction, it just follows your direction. And it goes so much quicker. Ugh. How, how is, how is that? 
The, uh, at least with the other one, it, it did sound similar. This just sounds completely different. This is not what I played. Unless it's meant to be complimenting what I played, but I don't know. Okay. Oh, you can pick him up again. So wait, it's the same... Is it the same as the other dungeon where I just have to carry you? Ah, uh, okay. Am I going to play Phantom Hourglass? I'm playing them in order of release date, so... I'm trying to get to, through all of them before Tears of the Kingdom releases, which I'm not sure is going to be a reality. Um, but the next one in, in line is Minish Cap. Then it's Twilight. And then after that comes uh, Phantom Hourglass. Hourglass is in the same timeline. No, I know. It's it's a uh, it's a sequel to this one. But the problem with playing things by timeline is you can't. Basically, when you get to Ocarina of Time, you have to split and then you have to come back. So instead, I'm playing it in chronological release order. So it's just going by the year it came out in. So we start with the NES and then we end up on the Switch. It's just I don't know. I find it too annoying. Otherwise. It's, it's just easier for me. Because then once I'm done with a particular console, I'll put it away. Whereas in with the other one, it's just, oh, I have to, <laughs> I have to put it away, then bring it back out again. Nah. It's like Star Wars prequels of order that came out in, yeah, pretty much. But I guess the, the, dif the difference is, I guess the reason I want to go with release date is because Star Wars is a single straight line at the moment it doesn't branch off into two alternate timelines where you kind of have a point where you know you'll go down one story path and then you'll be done with it and then you'll come back in time and you know continue another timeline like that's kind of the part i take issue with how do i do this It looks like you can fly, maybe. Star Wars just has a lot of spin-offs, yeah. But they're still contributing to the same timeline, right? Like, it's not an alternate timeline. It's not like, oh. You know, in one timeline, they they kill Palpatine, and then the other one they don't. <laughs> I don't know. That's pretty much that's pretty much what Zelda becomes is just the hero fails or the hero succeeds. Am I just stuck here? What, what do I need to do here? Oh wait, iron iron boots, iron boots, iron boots, iron boots, iron boots. I'm forgetting. Oh, 
Aha. Okay. Oh, I think I, know, I think I know what, what I have to do here. Ganon's always the bad guy. Uh, it's between humanoid Ganondorf and I guess like the embodiment of evil, which is Ganon. So it's like either or. I'm understanding this correctly. Ah. But then I have to leave the little dude be behind. I don't want to do that. I mean, I'm not the best with the Zelda lore, so I don't know. So this is stopping me from going forward. Is it really just this? What is this Korok special power? Oh, you know what I'm forgetting? I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I keep okay, forgetting this is a thing in these dungeons. Okay, what do you have? Oh, you can fly on your own, okay. <laughs> I like the Korok's little walk. Okay, so you can take care of yourself. Ah, uh -huh. okay. This is how we're supposed to do it. Right, and now... They're rooted to collect. Yeah, 900 of them, yeah. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it again. When I get up to Breath of the Wild. I wonder if they're going to do it again in the sequel. You love Koroks. No, I mean, Koroks conceptually are adorable, but especially this one. But I'm collecting all 900. Ugh. And the reward was, yeah, basically a golden turd. I just can't believe, so, I mean, when that game first came out, there wasn't a guide to where to find all 900 of them. And there was that one person that found all of them within a few days, somehow. Without any guides, it's like... I can't remember, but it, it, it was definitely, like, very quickly. They know life. Yeah, uh, I mean, just dedicated some extra time. I don't know. If it was a streamer, I wouldn't call it no lifing. They just did what a streamer does, especially if they're a career streamer. So what am I doing here? 
So that closes it, but why would I want it closed? It looks like there's an upper level. Dedicated is a generous way of putting it. I mean, I just don't like the rhetoric because it kind of goes down the path of uh, just like calling people losers for playing video games, which I don't know. I think we're past that. You think there's a limit? Why, though? I mean, that's just like an arbitrary opinion. At the end of the day, you spend your life doing things you value, right? And you enjoy it. So it's like... Sorry, I'm just trying to think what I do here. It's an extreme. No, I get it. But I guess I, I don't personally see it that way, that's all I'm saying. Like, that person is doing something and doing something they enjoy. And it, wa it was for the sake of content creation as well, so like... That, I don't know, saying that it's no lifing, in a meme -y way, sure, but like in a realistic way, nah. Like, fundamentally, if you're not doing anything in life, that just means you're not doing anything in life. Like, it would be pretty much not... Taking life for granted and not really living it and enjoying it. So I do try to avoid saying that. It's more memey. Okay. Yeah. It's like when you say you try hard. Can I control you again? Hasn't made anything clearer. These almost look like hookshot points, but they're not. You like that people do it, it's just not something you do. Yeah, I, there's plenty of stuff like that for me as well. Like, I wouldn't do, I wouldn't personally do speedrunning, but I have an appreciation for it. But I just wouldn't be like, haha, speedrunners have no life. It's just. Just because someone sinks in a lot of time into something doesn't mean they have no life. It's just, in the context of gaming, it's thrown out quite a bit. Whereas in, you got people throwing their life into sports or watching sports. It's like, isn't, isn't that in the same realm? It's like, you're not out there playing it. You're kind of there watching it and being obsessive about it. But it's not really thrown around with that, ever. It's just... Part of an old way of making fun of people that have fun with video games. That it's a dying mentality, thankfully. They're sweaty gamers, though. <laughs> it... Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna disagree, but... It was sure a try hard, but you're lazy. <laughs> that, that honestly, what it comes down to is like a lot of people could do some of the stuff, and uh, it just comes down to nah. I just crushed myself. I 
haven't... Hmm. I have to try and I have to try and get Link up here. I'm just looking at how this gate works, but I don't think there's a way to do it. What am I what am I missing here? There's something I'm missing. What am I not doing? There's no room before me. I tried taking the Korok up there. So that is the same as the Switch. Let me try this again. Maybe, maybe there's something that this Korok does that I'm unaware of. <laughs> Let's go. Wait. What if it's a simple? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. What if it's just bullseye? No? Okay. Hey, hey, no, thanks for the raid. How's it going? <laughs> Already here, right? Yes. The best kind of raid. Does a Korok have a wind ability or something? No. There's only there's only the option to fly. I don't, I don't have any leads on this. Hang on. Well, that didn't work. This is another one of these things that... I'm, I'm going to dislike the answer to this. Because it's going to be something small that I've overlooked. I mean, I see a bunch of targets. Oh, I don't even need to do that. Like, the Korok kind of... Unless maybe I can carry... Can I carry Link? No. So is... All I can do is fly. Maybe... Hmm. <laughs> Just thinking what else I have at my disposal here. I'm not 
saying the obvious answer here. Oh, hang on. There's no branching path here, like, it, it's pretty much through this corridor. I have to figure it out. This will crush me if I stand in front of it and the Korok moves it. So... The weird thing is in the previous dungeon where you were partnering, it, were, it would give you a hint if there was some hidden mechanic. But this hasn't done anything like that yet. Yeah. What if I'm miss what if I'm missing an item? Like that's always a possibility, because those markings they kinda remind me of old hookshot points, but I just have this, which doesn't doesn't really do anything. I tried shooting an arrow into it. Answer to this. I'm gonna hate the answer to this. The longer something takes, the more likely the answer is something minor and dumb. Let's just have a quick look at this room again. have to look this up but if I've been here for a few minutes and it's still not crystal clear what I have to do I might have to I wonder if you need water one thing I haven't tried. Oh, come on. Why was this not explained at the start? Unless it was and I didn't pay attention. This was not explained. That the Korok could do this. Uh, okay.
Yeah, I mean, it was definitely simple. We're getting somewhere. I like how these ones don't need watering, they just work. <laughs> Was, uh, was this explained now? This is bothering me. <laughs> was it actually explained at the start, or...? Oh. They grabbed them. Where is he? Somewhere off map, apparently. Oh, over here. Link, I'm over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to look at this later and just see if it did explain it. Link. That stone blocks the entrance seems extremely heavy. The only way you could move it is if you were to become as heavy as the great Deku Tree himself. Uh, if only the great Deku Tree was here now. Hey. Okay, got it. <laughs> A little messy, but fine. To somewhere else. Okay, guess I shouldn't be afraid of that.
Okay, so now... Are, are these even something I need to go after anymore? <laughs> I feel like they've, uh... I don't think I have a use for them. I think I knew it won't work. I have to bring both of them here. Sometimes when that makes that sound, it's just, I don't know. I feel like they, it should be more sparingly used when a big secret is revealed. I mean, that's what it used to be, but now it's like every little thing, it's that sound. I'm just gonna ignore that thing. Just the compass or the map. I should have run on it. It's okay. Wait, really? I guess I have to go all the way back. Okay, fine. Oh, there's no way you could do this on base magic. Maybe I should have the hookshot equipped just to steal more of their feathers. Yeah. 
But I guess this is now a lower. What is this over here? Kind of caught my attention. <laughs> okay. That was, uh, yeah. Well, I'm on the ground now. Okay, one sec. I'm honestly surprised it hasn't come after me yet. Alright, screw it. This is nothing. I don't have a key yet. No, because I'm kind of stuck down here. There has to be a way through that room because that would have to contain a key. Okay, what am I not seeing here? I'm going to try different things. Oh, did work. <laughs> Just collapsed through the ceiling, that biggie. I mean, this is getting somewhere. Please tell me I don't have to. <laughs> okay. Good. Go around. Alright, well now I know how those work. Brutal floors.
Wait, really? Oh no, it's a mini boss, chill. first. They're not going on the floor. I might just have to ignore them. There's one. I think I know how to make them fall on the ground. Fight under here. If they can't see me, they'll have to be doing this. Distractions. Okay, that's one. their feathers. Before I take them out. Because I don't think I've traded yet, so... Looks like it, it is in the game. Okay. So I guess it's, the grappling hook is different, but now we have real power. Oh, right. I gotta find it here. Feather. 
Oh, no, yeah, this is, this is like classic. Actually, it does damage. Doesn't have that far of range. Started early today. Uh, yeah, not that early. Just finished work, had some dinner. Yeah. It's Friday, so just wrapped up my stuff and yeah. <laughs> How's it going, Laura? Ugh. All right. Compass. Ray. Okay. Did that really, like, I guess it helped. So, so, how am I? Uh, yeah, not too bad. Just glad the week's over. Looking over to next week where it's gonna be a long weekend, so. I have to be facing this way. Okay. Oh, you dick. Don't you dare. That almost knocked me down. right it's just you could have done that in a manner where I didn't get injured there we go little friend is back uh I feel like I should probably close this up okay hang on put you put you back down for a minute Is this where I had it? Or is it up higher? Um, let's take a look. I guess it's the other way. Where's little Korok friend? But don't tell me. 
Oh, that's not good, but it's... Ugh. So... Oh, that's really not cool. Because I was down there last, it put him down here for some reason, even though he was never down here. Yeah, there he is. Wow. This is such a waste of time. Can it... Oh, I hate it. I have to... Okay. I guess I have to fly him up. Ah. Uh, I mean, shit. I feel like it's almost almost easier for me to exit the dungeon and just come back. Okay. Thankfully the range of this is large enough. to get up with Link. I'm going to place you in front of the door that I want to go through. I'm sure he'll he'll be fine. I have to float across, don't I? Okay. going to be a long dungeon. Can I even make it across that? Oh, you dick. How do I get over there, then? Uh, this is not good. It's now the Koroks over there.
Uh, okay, hang on. Okay, thankfully this has enough range. Hmm. We don't get flight abilities, I don't think. Yeah, we don't. Okay, so... Let's just go back the way I came. There's no way to go further up here. Guess we're back in this room, but now I have a way up. Sorry. Now I have a way up here. This is a weird mechanic, this one. See, there's nothing back this way, though. The only other thing that... Maybe... Let's see if it's a thing. Oh, it is. Link, I think the hook shot you, you have can probably latch... I... I... I was... What? <laughs> Why? That's what I was doing. Why did you interrupt that? That's what I was doing. Hey, Link, sorry to... Sorry to interrupt. But can I tell you about hookshotting a tree, just in case you didn't think to try it? I can't believe- I can't believe- I can't believe it just stopped me for that. <laughs> it's so annoyed. It would have been fine if, you know, the hookshot went through, but it just straight up cancelled it. And I suffered for it. <laughs> hey, you know that thing you did? That's the mechanic. Just be sure to do it, okay? All right, now do it. Come, little Korok friend. We have places to go. Oh, no. Oh. I like the little Korok's walk. Let's just go to the go to the next room. We don't have to just go ignore it. Thanks, camera. Thank you. Thank you for rotating.
can I? I'm just gonna do this to get its attention. I mean, that doesn't solve the problem, does it? But I guess it makes things easier for a little bit. Look at the little walk. <laughs> Strategic drop. Camera, yeah, camera, yeah, camera. <laughs> Got a little drunk there. Oh, can these things just piss off? I guess it's in a safe spot, alright? You know what, I'm just gonna... I have to deal with these things, otherwise it's just never gonna... ...gonna work. Go away. One skull that should be okay to manage, I think. Wait, why didn't that ha That didn't work before. Alright, whatever. Friend's about to get caught again. Hide. <laughs> Stay there. What? this now. Uh, 
Uh, I don't even know where I should place you. here for now. Wait, but it do that doesn't look like I can make, even I can glide across there. Unless I climb up here. Oh, man, I would, I would hate to fall down. I just want to make sure there's no, like, valid spot that I can hit first. I just don't want to glide across and have to climb back up. <laughs> oh, that would suck. Oh, my God. All right. What's plan B here? Guess here. No, but I need the little the little fella with me. Well, this is a uh, this is a real damper on the plan. Go fetch, okay. Well, that's nice. So, what I did before was completely unnecessary. No, no, I don't. Just keep going with this. Oh, 
Let's just put the Korok where it needs to be. <laughs> Whoops. Oops. 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 I might just get more of these feathers. I kind of left the Korok to just keep getting it. Sorry. My bad. friend. Stay in the corner. Thanks for the ride. How's it going? How's the stream? How's the shambling going? Oh, you know, I just put down my little Korok friend in front of a blade for like five minutes. So it was just this thing repeatedly colliding with it. But he's fine. Come on, little friend. Oh, I can't open the chest without. Okay, hang on. This one is so cartoony looking. Yeah, that's the art style for it. When it was released, it was, uh. It's like a very divisive thing because. Before the game got announced, they were showing demos of uh, a just Link inside a GameCube demo and it looked more like Twilight Princess Link, very realistic and then this game got announced and people were like what? But the game itself is really good it's the first time I'm playing it it has a very slapstick kind of uh, cartoon style wait where does this go? Is, that, is this really what I want to be doing there? Am I playing on Switch? Nah, playing it on the Wii U. But if, if I go this way, hang on. This is going to take me back to the central room, so there's not a whole lot of point going this way. I should just go back the other way. There was always rumors of this being ported over to the Switch, but it just never eventuated, so... I'm just trying to get through all the games before uh, Tears of the Kingdom comes out. Which, there's not a whole lot of time left, so I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do it, but we'll see. Hmm. 
No, not that. That. Oh wait, I can't go back that way. I need to do this first, which I guess now I have to... I'll just take him over. 3.5 months. Yeah, it's not a whole lot of time. Like, I was trying to do the math and... I would have to pretty much spend, uh, like, under a week. I did it again. <laughs> that poor Korok. I would have to spend just under a week with the remainder of the games to be done before our tears comes out. Sorry, little friend. <laughs> Sorry. That, that was 100% my bad. I should be able to get the, like, the ones on Game Boy and the DS weren't that long. I just worry that I don't have enough time to play Breath of the Wild again. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Why'd you do that? Is there 900 Koroks in this game? No, 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 no. The Koroks are just a, uh, a story point. This is suffering. Stay away. Like this one's not really an open world. There's an ocean you can sail across, but it's pretty empty. There's just little islands that you can stop by and then there's dungeons. I don't think this one is as long as some of the other Zelda games. Okay. Right here. I don't think there's any, uh, big collectible. There are a set of collectibles that you get, but you don't have to get that many, and it's not a set number, it's kinda... They're random drops, or you can steal them from an enemy. Uh, I have to get back up here again. puzzles good in this one? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> um, like, these dungeons in particular, you have to find a... an NPC that is a sage, and you have to guide them through this temple, so then they can power up your sword. So, like, you switch back between um, Link and the sage that you're helping. So this Korok uh, plants these trees that I could hookshot to. But it also got, uh, kidnapped, so you had to rescue it, so. And in the previous dungeon, um, it was like one of the, the bird people. So. She would, uh, help you carry across gaps. I just fell down here like an idiot. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it does have a minigame that might appeal to you. Link does look pretty cute. The Korok. The Korok is adorable with this little walk. There's 
a sword training game in this. Uh, that you get a heart piece off. And it is pretty much like the jump rope game from, uh... From Mario Odyssey, where it was just an exercise in patience. So, you have to fight this guy, and... Well, not fight him, you just have to jab him, right? And you have to jab him a certain number of times, and let's just say... It, <laughs> it took me a while. Because it, it was quite a few of them. So you can't take more than three hits. You have three hits that you can take, so you have to hit him... And get a certain number of jabs in. The more jabs in you get, the bigger the reward is, and the final reward is the heart piece, so... I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna say how many, but it's more than a hundred. <laughs> it took- it took me longer than any dungeon would, to be honest, that's- but... Maybe I just overcomplicated it, or just was impatient with combat. It's not hard, it's just... I feel like they could have halved the amount that you needed to do. It's, it, all it reminded me of was just the jump rope thing, where it was just like, I'd miss out by maybe one or two, or I'd get really close and then I'd have to stop, it was just... Damn it. Ugh. Okay, hang on. It's just a fire one. There we go. Look at it. Look at the Korok. <laughs> it's so cute. And the sounds it makes as well. It's worth the price of admission. I mean, I recommend this one. It's got a bit more humor, and... It doesn't overstay its welcome. Uh, I'm just gonna have to go on. Would have been nice if they ported it to the Switch, but they chose not to. I mean, they still can. You'd love to say we gotta get going. <laughs> not understandable. The uh, yeah, <laughs> time zones. But thanks for the raid again, Evie, and for the chat. Have a good night. No, 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 I have to take it out. <laughs> it just harasses the Korok too much when I'm flying. You don't fly very quickly. Come here. Right. 
now the other thing I gotta figure out is how to get up higher. So I have the boss key, but I haven't seen really how to get up higher. This is where I got stuck. The problem is if I leap off, <laughs> that's that's kind of it. I can't really fix it. So uh, I'm I'm not sure. Wait, there was another point underneath and behind me, actually. Hang on. No, over there. Straight ahead. Yep, yep. That's where I need to go. Um, I'll leave a little Korok friend over there. I haven't been here. Yep, here. Wait, no! Is this nothing? Oh, this is the button I pressed originally. But I mean, I guess that's the thing. Where am I? Ah, oh, this is the other side of... I, I got swindled. Shit. How am I supposed to do this? Ah. Oh. I think I know how. Hang on. Let me have a look. I think I overlooked something. Let me have a look. I'm gonna have a look around here. No, I haven't overlooked anything. There's a turbine. Okay, so we're okay. Which I guess I can press with the Korok. Okay, hang on. There's a door here. It looks like there's more to do. These are going to serve, but let's plan them. Really? Go back. I mean, this should be the position Link is in. So now I just ride the updraft. Assuming it goes off again. <laughs> yep. Aha! Okay, now we're in business. Ok, 
Okay, that took a little bit to figure out, but... I'm gonna wait for the next draft. Probably bring the little friend with me. I guess if I do this, it'll... You know what? Let's just... It'll reset anyway. Okay, I thought that maybe would be useful against this. It's not... That'd best be a key. Okay. Then I think we're pretty much done here. Let's just go to the bottom. Hang here.
Wait a minute, I remember this. left is this annoying dick. Here we go. Say, why won't you die? Okay. Surprise, that worked. Kind of clipped through it there. Oh, it is boots. left a little dude behind and I'm hoping that I don't need him. <laughs> no, I do. I need to go get him. I see the spot up ahead. I mean, it's fine. Like, I have the door open. Just get him. Little friend. Missed. Because I had a target and didn't work.
but that stopped it. Okay. I was expecting to just uh, fly through the wind. I wasn't expecting the wind to stop. Sure. There was a feather there. Oh well. I've had the boss key for a while. deals with them. I hope I'm doing this right. Wait, I need to, do I need to get this across. I think I do. I think this is just purely... still pick up. So, this is fine. I guess these were here just to make it easier. Ooh, maybe not. I need it. No, I do. Hmm. I think I need to move it just to give me the most time possible.
gonna try one more time. Because I'm stubborn. <laughs> I could have just been unlucky. Okay, I'm gonna have to do something about that. There we go. <laughs> now I just get the Korok and hopefully I can walk across this. Okay, we're good. Golden. This has been quite the dungeon. <laughs> oh. There will be hookshot. Whoa, this looks big. I like big arena fights. Those colored points are probably latch points. I think I got the correct items here. Hookshot, boots, and leaf for flying. Oh, okay. This music, though. It's camera Y. There.
just want to get rid of those. Careful. Wow, that was lucky. I need to get rid of this thing because it keeps locking onto this instead of the boss. too bad. the heart. I mean, it's kind of great, <laughs> but it's, uh, yeah, it's not what I was playing. Oh, now it gets the symbol. Wait, really? The Master Sword has returned, it's the bl its blade once again houses the power to repel evil. The sword of the true hero is revived at last. Link, I fully restored the power to repel evil to your Master Sword. And my ancestors are most satisfied. I shall continue praying to the gods here. Please step into the light and return above ground. May the winds of fortune be on your back. Wait, so... I was expecting one more dungeon, at least. Before the sword got restored. Hmm. Okay. I see, so the Forsaken Fortress has already... Ah. Like a molting snake that casts off its dead skin. That place is so empty and quiet, one can almost hear the echo of dead leaves falling to the cold cracked ground. Why? What ails you? What? Lose the long face. The monsters are gone from the world. Doesn't that make you a little happy? Link. I have troubling news. Ganon has not shown himself above the seas since Valu unleashed his fiery wrath upon him. And what's worse, there is not a creature stirring 
in his base of operations in this world, the Forsaken Fortress. I cannot imagine how it is possible, and yet I cannot shake the foreboding feeling I have about Princess Zelda. Link, you must search for all the trifle shards so that we can head back to Hyrule without delay. Okay, well, I guess we're trifles hunting. Um, oh right, there's the ghost ship. Which I guess is the next thing. Um, but before that, there's, there's a couple of things. There was that island with all the pieces. I don't remember where that was. And there's also the, um, the flight contest. Oh, there's the... Well, that's extremely <laughs> coincidental. It's exactly what I was looking for. The question is, is, is this doable now? Nope. What was that mask I got, though? Okay, hang on, I need a sail. We'll get on this island. Let me spectate the ship for a while. Also see what you have to say. I see, I do indeed. <laughs> that doesn't help me in the slightest. Oh, but we have Hookshot now. No, no, no. Let's just leave this. See, I didn't think Hookshot existed in this game, but there's actually something for me to do now. I'm sure I'll be able to do that, just not yet. Now I can reach stuff that I couldn't reach before. It seems like the ghost ship is around more, though. <laughs> I did that to stop the ship. <laughs> okay. Let me go, I guess, sail around and find stuff. Oh, and there was also the merchant ship. Yeah, there's still a bunch of stuff to do. Very greedy though. Oh, what? Wait, it stop. Stop making the sound. Why? Treasure that's only available during the night? That's interesting. Okay, I'm going to this rear island because I can get up here now. It's the one that had trees and high ground and now I can get up here.
Oh, I forgot to check one direction. It's okay. Very cool. another trial chamber. Yeah, okay. Um... Ah, oh, come on. This is more irritating than Jack. That target. There we go. Yep. Good. It's not over. <laughs> now it's over. Wait, what? Oh.
This doesn't really change anything. This is different. I may as well take advantage though. the hit there. I mean, at least there's collateral damage, so that's nice. Yeah. Money. I have a wallet, that's why. <laughs> I have over a thousand rupees now, finally. But that's only because I have finally have the wallet. Like before, where I was just wasting money. Okay, uh, what's remaining? Wait, that's it, right? Okay, cool. But hey, Carol, what's up? Triforce, peace! Breath of Wild Instinct scream for not picking up all the swords. Yeah. And it depends what swords. Some swords... You're like, nah, it's trash. <laughs> Dark Nut Swords were probably good. Oh yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> Difficult enemies, they'd probably be on par with like the Ancient Swords. Okay, we're gonna go do the flight contest now. There's still a lot of heart containers remaining, which is a bit concerning. Like, have I really just missed that many heart pieces? Ancient swords are great as long as they wear ancient armor, I guess. 
Okay, let's... Remember to be... Got now I should be able to do it. Cause now I have the power of magic. I need to let go. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, what? Am I still not gonna make it? I'm not gonna make it. I mean, pretty far, but not, not far enough. Sploosh! 221. A whopping 221 yards. See, that I can accept was decent. Could have made it if I didn't delay the updrafts. Yeah, maybe. I think I just got unlucky with the updrafts. Oh, this doesn't even restore my full magic, does- oh no, it does, cool. Okay. I think this could be just a timing thing as well, it's just, like... There we go. That was cleaner. The problem is these things move so quickly. Ah, oh, shit. Again. I'm just gonna drop. There's no way. Like, let's not waste time. I'm just gonna go right away. Hold that one perfectly. Okay. This is a run. I feel like I don't have to catch this one, but I, I'll try. I don't have to catch this one, just go. 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 Ah, oh, what? Still not enough. Is the wind direction just not perfect? Like, I, I swear I've got it right. Yeah, that looks correct. Like, you can see the, the wind marks.
I reckon after this one, just ro oh shit. Okay, just keep going, just keep going, just keep going. Man, why does it why does it stop short? Like, what am I what am I doing wrong? Is it the, the little drop move that I'm doing? Maybe that's costing me more than I think. Okay, I have an idea. A little bit more of a... I think, I think that's the ticket. Like, I'm just starting the glide too early. Just trust that I'll meet up with it. Okay, good. I mean, with this one, to be honest, I can... Probably just head to the end. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! <laughs> what? It's, it's not enough, is it? <laughs> it's not enough. Oh, what do you mean? How is that not enough? Okay. Ugh. I just missed it. Okay. Alright, so same thing, but like this time, even lower. Oh, shit. I've missed it. Wait, what? How did... That was so unfortunate. This is gonna drain my money. I feel like it just slows down randomly. I don't know if it's me or what, but it definitely feels like it just slows down randomly. I'm not going to make it, am I? Dude. Why is this so specific? Wait a minute, I just thought of something. I swear, if this is the answer. Okay, it doesn't look like you can climb up on this. I thought I'd maybe climb up on this and then leap off it, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. It's just... It's just really this particular... Oh, what do you mean? Alright, just keep going. Just keep going. Hopefully catch this one correctly. Okay. Salvaged. Dude. 
dude. <laughs> this is kind of annoying me. <laughs> Just a little bit. Look, I'm, I'm there. Uh, I'm on the edge of success. <laughs> Why? The, uh, I don't like these twisters. They, they don't seem to behave consistently. Risking it there. Cool. I don't. I don't get it again. Do you know what I think is my problem? Is just I'm trying to ride them. And I think that's ultimately my downfall, is like I'm spending too much time going sideways, trying to get these twisters. Okay, that's surely it. Ah, there it is. Goal. Congratulations. Your current record is an impressive 258. Oh, breathtaking. You have shown me an incredible feat of aerial navigation. My eyes, they are unworthy. Amazing. You have... You blew past my brother's best record in an impressive fashion. You would make a fine and distinguished member of the Rito tribe. I guarantee it. The former champion upstairs says so too. You're both great and talented. So as the new champion of the Birdman contest, please accept this great and talented prize. Thank you. Alright, what else? There was the person actually selling a heart piece, so... But I imagine there's a, there's a few islands that I've forgotten about. Probably a few of these where I just have to take out the bases and get rewards, so I'm gonna start... Oh, hang on. There's a map for this. Hold on. Yeah, this one. Oh. He yeah, unfortunately doesn't really mark which one's done, so... I guess... You know what? Next time. I'm looking at the time, and I, I do want to get to Kirby, so... I'd imagine there are some heart pieces with these platforms, so... Because there was one... So I'd imagine some of these will have them. Unless there's more dungeons, I, I feel like, yeah, I'm missing a lot of heart pieces.
trying to find a particular island. Is it this one? Hmm, I feel like I, I can get up here. No, I can get up there. That one, I've done. Oh, there's also the treasure chest at the cabana, so there's, there's another one. I'm not sure I've done this one. Let me go have a look. This doesn't... Yeah, there's a chest over there. I don't think I've done this one. Yeah, I haven't done this one. Yeah, I mean, I would imagine there's a lot of hot pieces. <laughs> I, just, I just have to go look for them. Yep. I would imagine the ghost ship is probably like a dungeon. So, taking that into account, there would still be 20. Assuming there's no more dungeons, I don't know, maybe there's like a whole second act to this. But mind you, like, if I look at this... There's not really another weapon slot left, so it's like... I feel like I'm at the end, so... I think I'm just gonna have to spend another stream just hunting heart pieces down because there's, there's a lot of them by the looks of it. I bet most of them are on are on that those platforms. I just have to do them.
kind of just looking around and seeing what islands are nearby. This is the ice one, right? Yeah, I can see the mouth from here. That's the ice island. That's a base. I wonder if taking out the base... Yeah, they might actually. <laughs> taking out these bases might have a heart piece, but I'm not going to do it yet. I wouldn't be surprised. There's one thing I want to find in particular. It was like... An island where I definitely needed the hookshot to get onto. It's somewhere in the southern sea, so I'm looking around here. It's not that island, because that is temple, so... I'll know it when I see it. Oh, we need to do this island. We can do this island now. Okay, so I need to push all the buttons. So let's see what we need. One of them is just a straightforward pressure plate. up so we can see. I need a hammer as well. Probably done this too slow. first. Okay, that worked somehow. Okay. I'm not sure why that appeared, but okay. So it better be more than just mine. <laughs> I want a heart piece for my efforts. Oh jeez. No, this this definitely has to be big. There's no way this is just money. This 
like the mother load. They just keep coming. What is happening? Oh, now we have wizards. to do. There's too many stray weapons. I don't want to pick up up. I want to get rid of this annoying sniping. This definitely has to be something significant. It can't be something small. Stop with the enemy spam. Why is this so ridiculous? This is even more than the, the trial that I had to do before. Done. Nope, still going apparently. Is this just like an endless boss mode? What is this? We got more stuff spawning, so this is probably it. That's not a good sign, it's a normal looking chest. Ah, I, I would have opted not to do this. That's a pretty underwhelming reward given what I just went through. That should have been a heart piece. Yeah, I am very disappointed in this. I've done less to get more, let's put it that way.
I don't think there's anything left to do on this island here. Just did something. I did something to see into the life force of an enemy, so. Better boat sim than Sea of Thieves. I haven't played Sea of Thieves to make the comparison, but I'll trust your word. They are welcome, Hashira. Where is this island? <laughs> I tried to go by name alone last time and it just didn't point me in the right direction, to be honest. Oh, wait, is this the, I think this might be the island. Never seen the place, but I got this. Yeah, it's been it's been an arduous journey. Some of the dungeons. There we go. This is my first time playing it as well, but I'm kind of at the point now where it's near the end. I think. I'm just going around to stuff that I couldn't do early on. Oh wait, so this is the mask. <laughs> I still don't know what it does. Just, uh, yeah, it's on my face, I guess. According to the mask, it says it reveals the life force of enemies, whatever that means. I want, if it just shows the HP bar. I guess we'll find out. Oh. This was highly un <laughs> not what I was expecting when I got in here. What is this? Oh no, this is gonna be a maze, isn't it? Oh, okay, yeah, it gives it a health bar. <laughs> Wait. How'd they fit a shipwreck in a small well? Yes. That's, that's the answer. <laughs> yes. So, this, this is basically like Mario now. 
<laughs> instead of pipes, we're going through, um, I don't know, jars of mist? It's kind of hard to say what these fumes are. The Mario crossover we've always wanted. <laughs> this era was weird because I guess this has got like Mario mechanics and then I'm playing Kirby as well, the new one. Well, the remake of the Wii game. And that has Donkey Kong mechanics in it. It's like you got you have barrels and you go through them. is the way. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Left, right, or behind? Because I'm a lefty, I'll go left. Ah, uh, there goes my USB hub again. Just saying, hey. Your hard drive unplugged. It was wrong. Who needs hard drives? When you're a streamer and you save every stream, I do. <laughs> I need external drives. Because I don't have internal storage that holds that much. Okay, so let's try this one this time. Okay, that was correct. Has to be left this time. Aha! Leave me alone. I don't think this is, this is it though. I mean, maybe it is. Let's see. Depends what I got. Ghost ship chart. But that's just going to tell me where the ghost ship is. It doesn't let me on it. Okay. Just for good measure, I'm, I'm going to go through the rest of this. But I got the feeling this, this was it. Yeah, this goes back to the start. Okay. behind me but I, I'm barely certain this is it yeah okay there was one other I doubt it's going anywhere all right so what is this chart that I just got I have too many charts What on earth? Oh, based on the moon phase. Okay, that's the island that it's on. Okay, so I 
to have a way to track it. I just don't have a way on it yet. But I guess that's good. Alright, there's one more thing I want to check out, and then I'll move on to Kirby. There was an island I remember that had... It had something frozen, and I didn't have fire arrows at the time, so... It might even be this island here. And then there's also the Venda, which is just somewhere around here in these waters. There might even be a second. Don't go away. Oh, another one? <laughs> how, how does this work? I mean... I'm trying to think how, how you would explain this. I'm not, I, I, I got nothing. <laughs> this, this makes no sense whatsoever. What does it say? Light the six torches and dive down to the seafloor. Guide the lost spirit of the boat that forever wanders the darkness. Oh, okay, it's an, it's an archery thing. That was not the trajectory I expected that one to take. Okay, sure. <laughs> I didn't move it. I wonder if... No, but we're in a cave. How's there wind? No, 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 hang on. To the living, light the six torches and dive down to the seafloor. Guide the lost spirit of the boat that forever wanders in darkness. Was that six, though? Hang on. One, two... Three... Four, five... I guess it was six. So then it says, dive to the bottom of the seafloor. Let me just read it again. And dive to the seafloor. Guide the lost spirit of the boat that forever wanders in darkness. So it is referring to the ghost ship. Dive to the seafloor. Have no clue. I guess maybe it's just time to find the ghost ship. Um, but let's just leave that for next time. I'm going to go look for the shop. Uh, hold on. Now, I'm trying to remember what the instructions said. 
Steel, Stone Watcher Island. I think it was near Rock Spire, so. Steel is just the base. Maybe there's something to do here on this cursed island now. Now that I have the hook shot. Oh. Uh. Hmm. I mean, does it look like there's anything? I'll, I'll just have a quick look. It doesn't hurt to look. It doesn't look like you can actually latch onto these. There's a cave here. No, 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 no. There, there is something here. Okay, how do we get there? I would imagine it's a paragliding challenge. That's the only way I see myself realistically getting in there. Now that I have more magic, it's might, it might be more doable. Yeah, looks like it's probably it. Okay. Do we want the wind? Yeah, that seems correct. Okay. <laughs> Please don't just be money. Okay, nice. That's the sound effect I want to hear. I wish this boat was like a pona, so you could call it. Wait, where is it? I, go, I went around the wrong island like an idiot. It's over there. <laughs> but I mean, otherwise, I, there's already a heart piece here. I doubt there'd be anything else, so let's move on. Oh, what? The boat moved. Yep. It must do that so you don't soft lock yourself. Okay. Up next, we are headed to... Just straight ahead, I think. So this is Rock Spire Isle, so... 
It did say there'd be a vendor here. But this is just Beetle. Hang on. Oh no, this isn't Beetle. This looks... Yeah, this isn't Beetle. It's covered up. <laughs> it's Beetle. Oh, fine. Welcome to you, young person that I've never seen before. You're so lucky to meet me at this time. This shop will close in just seven more days and I'm having clearance sale. Empty bottle, MSRP. This is my last one. This is my last one of these two. The price may be high, but I'll pay off handsomely. Whoa. Okay, yep. I'm taking that. Thank so, you. This is just filler content. <sighs> okay. No thanks. How much is this? Okay, I need to go make more money. Okay, but this is all I wanted to see. Um, there's, there's an easy way to make money. And I'm gonna set that for next time. But let me go there. Because there's something I can do real quick. Wait, which one's... I would think it's near Forest Haven. It's somewhere in this that vicinity. Yeah, so it is this way. Okay. Pretty much just gonna hook shot onto the tree. But I can probably... That didn't even provide the indicator. But the treasure charts is probably like a What is this? What a whirlpool means. I I've seen a few of them around. 
maybe this is just the top of the waterfall and nothing else. I wonder if there's something on the roof of the building. That is always a possibility as well. I can't believe that. I wasn't tell you. I don't think I can make it to the roof like this. Unless it's like another undocumented hook. No, okay. I think if that was intent, it would let you. Oh, it's you this time. Okay. Sort of got a hint for it. <gasps> I would hope that there isn't a heart piece tied to this, because... That is quite a lot to go through just to get a heart piece. Hang on, I'm doing this wrong. Okay, we've got that correct. Now I just need to get this in here. Jeez, even the picture has bloom. <laughs> Why is that a thing? It's kind of hurting my eyes to look at the picture. It's like a flashbang. Pad. <laughs> it's registering the wrong button. So close. Thank you. 
Hmm, let me go back the other way. Why is this not working? I thought I had it. I'm making it worse each time. I wanted to do just one, but this is taking me longer than I thought it would. My headphones just decided to randomly disconnect. That's cool. Why can't I get this piece in the corner? <laughs> okay, hang on. But I'm just, I'm shifting it this way and I don't want it to go that way. I need to just keep it on that side. Last time I did this, I did this so quickly. Maybe I'm just tired. It's also the blue. I'm sorry, but the bloom. Why does this portrait have bloom? That's the thing I think that's distracting me the most. Is just it's. <laughs> why does the portrait have bloom? It does not need to have bloom. Why does it have bloom? This is... Come on. I think I have to, I'm just doing this from the wrong side, like I just keep ending up with the same problem every time. Let's 
still doing this. No, no, I'm doing one more before I finish. There's a lot of them to do. Like, I haven't done one in a while. I just need more money because I went to that secret shop where you have to purchase a bunch of expensive things, so I just need more money. And I thought, oh, this is an easy way to do money, but for some reason, like, this one's not clicking with me. <laughs> I think I'm just tired. It's... Why does this portrait have to have bloom? That's the worst part. It's just all hazy and weird. I don't like looking at it. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Same problem. Okay, I got... I think I've got this wrong. I think this, end, this square ends up here. I think I overcomplicated it. Okay, and then... Ah! But yeah, I need money. <laughs> like, I think I've, I've sorted what the ghost ship needs. Do I get anything other than rupees? I have no idea. This is my first time playing it. I would hope not, because that is... Like, this is pretty much filler. Like, it's, it's padding. Oh, it's this again. But that being said, the counter down the side doesn't... I guess we'll see. Let me see if I can do this one quicker. I've already got the bottom pretty much sorted. Why did I get this one so quickly, compared to the other one? I mean, I'm not done yet, but like... I'm at a... Oh, I mixed it up. Dude. <laughs> that was so quick compared to the other one. It took less than half the time. So much more money, though. It's like... I have enough for the empty bottle. I don't have enough for the chart. I need 1,400 in total. To get the chart and the bottle. Oh. Korok. This one's gonna be hard. Let me look at it again. Violin is the basic. I got it. Last one. The 
This one's gonna be hard because there's a lot of green on it. So I know these go to the bottom. I think I'm trying to do too much at once. Let's just... I'm trying to think what the bottom corner piece would be. I mean, it's likely it's just this plain green one. Let's just see. That seems correct. doesn't see... No, wait, yes it does, yes it does. That took a while. What happened there? <laughs> okay. Well... This is where we're going to leave Wind Waker for today. But next time, it's going to be a hunt for heart pieces by the looks of it. And maybe the ghost ship, it depends. I would imagine it's just going around to the platforms and I think there's like a, a trade sequence that I still need to keep going with, so... That will be continued tomorrow, so... Hope you'll join me for that. Uh, I'm going to take a small two-minute intermission just to refill my bottle of water. And also plug in the Switch, as I need to swap the HDMI cables. But I'm going to play um, Kirby next, so get a snack or something whilst I set that up. But if you're here for Wind Waker, thank you so much for watching, or if you're watching this on YouTube as well. Don't forget to, like, do the interaction stuff if, if you want to. <laughs> okay, bye, YouTube.